al-Zarawi's principal work is the Kitab al-Tazrif, a 30-volume encyclopedia of medical practices. His pioneering contributions to the field of surgical procedures and instruments had an enormous impact in the East and West well into the modern period. Al-Zarawi was born in 936 in the city of Azahara, Andalusia, and is believed to have been descended from the Medinian tribe of Al-Ansari. He was a court physician to the Andalusian Caliph Al-Hakam II, and devoted his entire life and genius to the advancement of medicine as a whole and surgery in particular. Al-Zarawi invented several devices used during surgery, such as the cannulae, and was the first to treat a wart with an iron tube and caustic metal. He treated a slave girl who had cut her own throat in a suicide attempt and sewed up the wound. Al-Zarawi pioneered neurosurgery and neurological diagnosis and treated head injuries, skull fractures, spinal injuries, hydrocephalus, subdural effusions and headache. Al-Zarawi's 30-volume medical encyclopedia, Kitab al-Taf, covered a broad range of medical topics, including on surgery, medicine, orthopedics, ophthalmology, pharmacology, nutrition, dentistry, childbirth, and pathology. It contained data that had accumulated during a career that spanned almost 50 years of training, teaching and practice. Modern evaluation of the Kitab al-Tazrif manuscript has revealed early descriptions of some medical procedures that were ascribed to later physicians. Al-Zarawi's Kitab al-Tazrif was the first to describe the hereditary nature of hemophilia and the first to describe migraine surgery. Al-Zarawi's work on surgery and instruments is the first illustrated surgical guide ever written and consists of three books, intended for medical students looking forward to gaining more knowledge within the field of surgery. In the 12th century, Gerard of Cremona translated Al-Zarawi's book into Latin and it became a standard text in all major medical universities in Europe. It remained the primary source on surgery in Europe for the next 500 years. Al-Zarawi stated that the low status of surgery in the Islamic world was due to a lack of anatomical knowledge. Al-Zarawi invented a new instrument for taking stones out of the bladder, which was an improvement over the existing techniques in Europe. Al-Zarawi was the first to use replantation and gold and silver wires to ligate loosened teeth. He also invented instruments to scale the calculus from the teeth. Al-Zarawi invented over 200 surgical instruments, including scalpels, retractors, curettes, pincers, specula, and hooks with a double tip. He also used catgut for internal stitching which is still practiced in modern surgery. Al-Zarawi assumes an authoritative tone throughout the text, warning against procedures such as cauterization for numbness and pleurisy that could result in the creation of an incurable fistula or even the immediate death of the patient. Al-Zarawi pioneered the preparation of medicines by sublimation and distillation, and also touched upon the subject of cosmetics. He invented perfume sticks rolled and pressed in special molds, perhaps the earliest antecedents of present-day lipsticks and solid deodorants. Al-Tasrif's influence continued for at least five centuries, extending into the Renaissance, as evidenced by French surgeon Jacques Dallachon's. Al-Zarawi lived in house number 6 on Calais Albuquerque, which is preserved today by the Spanish Tourist Board.